A very welcome to you. We are here with 7th of July's Kali Blessing. There is an immortal fruit and that fruit can be attained when we are serving other people with spirituality. And that is the fruit of happiness and love and bliss and enjoyment which we receive when we are serving other people. And by the way, this is not something to do with money, not something to do with finances or something to do with your physical gifts. But this has got something to do with your spiritual gifts which you can give on to others. And so God says, May you be constantly be free from any disease of Maya. That means having greed or jealousy or ego or lust or anger. And attain immortal fruit by having the intention of serving. So the immortal fruit is a fruit which cannot be taken away by anybody. Finances can be taken by other people. Anything physical in your life can be taken away. But happiness, joy, peace which we receive from serving others without any physical gifts but spiritual gifts is the best immortal gift which we can receive and give it to others also so god says the children who eat the fruit from god that means the fruit of knowledge and happiness and joy and bliss the imperishable fruit the fruit filled with the sweetness of the love of all relationships at the conference age that means you can have any form of relationship with the supreme creator who is ready to be your father, your mother, your brother, your sister in a spiritual manner, not your physical father, brother, sister because they cannot be replaced. But nobody can replace Supreme Creator as the real father, the real mother, the real sister, the real brother, the real spouse of us souls. So there's a physical aspect of physical relationships and this is we are talking about spiritual relationships. So God says, that there is fruit of having that relationship with the Creator and that fruit is of love, peace, joy, happiness, bliss and many more things. Other fruits will still be received in the golden age. Whatever we do right now in this Kalyuga or the Iron Age, we are going to receive the good fruits of it in the golden age as it is and also in the Iron Age but if you don't eat the instant fruit from your intention of serving if we don't have the intention of serving others and the fruit of happiness and joy and love and peace which we receive when we are serving other people with this beautiful knowledge of letting others know what is the real connection with God, who is God, where does he stay, what is his real form and name, then there is no fruit of serving. That fruit from God now, but if you don't eat the instant fruit from your intention of serving, that fruit from God now, then you won't be able to eat it throughout the whole cycle. That means throughout the whole cycle, we'll feel some emptiness, we'll feel some hollowness within us, that which we are having because we did not receive the happiness, the joy and the love by serving other people through God. Instead, we were busy in serving ourselves and serving other people only on the basis of physical aspects, which is the material things around us. So God says there's a difference between serving other people with the material things and serving other people by taking the love and peace and happiness from me and then giving it to others. This fruit is the fruit of God's magic and by eating this fruit, iron will not just change into gems but it will change into diamonds. That means we have become iron intellect and we get rusted quickly. That means if we get egoistic, if we get jealous, that means we're getting rusted quickly. But it will change into diamonds. This fruit is the immortal fruit that finishes all obstacles. So when we are serving others, we get so much of wisdom because we can see different people with different issues and different problems and then we find out different solutions for those different issues and problems in our own intellect and with the help of God. So when God gives that love and peace and happiness and the wisdom through us to others, who is listening to that wisdom first? It is us, right? So we also get corrected and we're like, oh wow, that's the method, that's the way. And so serving others with the help of God helps us to be connected to all the souls in the world and become wiser and smarter with wisdom. To learn more about this beautiful knowledge, you're most welcome to learn it at Brahma Kumari Center and feel the feeling of serving others with true service of spirituality. Om Shanti.